Sweet life, sweet life, sweet life Sweet life, sweet life Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I just spent all morning filming some brand deals. I have been getting a lot more brand deals, which is not a bad thing, but has been making it a little weird with having a routine the sounds of LA and getting things done at a particular time but on the bright side it's fun to switch up routine and that's how I challenge myself and get myself to grow even further in life is by switching things up and not doing the same thing for too long and I have been doing the same thing for too long so I'm embracing this new change when you do brand deals and brand sponsorships while you're doing content creating or as an influencer whatever your choice of wording may be you have deadlines and certain times that things have to be sent in so sometimes I'll get sent a brand deal at like 9 p.m. and be told that it's due by 10 a.m. the next morning so it'll interfere with my routine and my schedule I'm trying to learn to be a little bit more fluid like just going with the flow and it's kind of inspired some growth within the creative realm as well because if there's a day that I can't film my day in my life because I have to film certain other videos for different platforms that means I need to be creative and still figure out what video I can make that day to put on TikTok on YouTube it's kind of allowed me to have a little bit more creative freedom and time to make more creative content versus the current everyday content that I'm used to making. I wash my bedding and my pillowcases two to three times a week. I cannot help myself. And as for my duvet, I wash that once every one to two weeks depending on what I'm doing that week. Because my duvet, I don't know about anyone else, takes a ridiculously long time. I'm talking like two days in full to wash and dry. With that being said, I'm gonna wash it today because we are prepping for spring. I've been doing so many things behind the scenes that y'all haven't been able to see. And after this one last week of me getting things ready and planned out, Reagan's back and better than ever. So this video is pretty important to watch because today we're setting the tone for this whole entire year and the lack of content that I've been posting the last few months is so that content moving forward can be bigger and better. The new chapter starts now. I so very desperately want to go ahead and start cleaning. My place has been a wreck because every time I clean, I don't fully clean because I'm aware that I need to start spring cleaning soon. And it kind of feels like, what's the point of spring cleaning? I'm almost out of this bottle for oil pulling. I will say it was a lot easier for me to do than I thought it was going to be because a lot of people said that it was hard to just sit there and swish the oil back and forth. It's not hard and it really doesn't taste bad and it feels really good afterwards. I will say when I first did it, my teeth were really sensitive in the beginning. Now it's a lot better and I'm loving this part of my routine. The tornado flew around my room before you came. Excuse the mess it made. It usually doesn't rain in Southern California, much like Arizona. My eyes don't shed tears before they fall. When I'm thinking about you, you know, no, no. I've been thinking about you, you know, no, no. I've been thinking about you. That's my basic oral hygiene routine. I do use a water floss and threading floss at night, but I don't do those twice a day, just once. I would do my skincare, but we're gonna take a full body everything shower after my workout. I like to wash my face in the shower after working out and putting on skincare right now would be kind of pointless, but we are gonna put on sunscreen. This is the Naturium sunscreen, it's SPF 50. Just because it's cloudy does not mean the UV rays aren't out to get us, they are. This is not something that everyone's skin would love. It is oily, so if you already have oily skin, I'm not not sure that this would be for you but for my dry skin it loves this don't forget to do your neck this is the number one form of self-discipline that you do now but you don't see results of until later in your life in the future we will be knowing who wore their sunscreen and who didn't that's kind of like what the whole point of discipline is it's doing things for current you that will be rewarding to future you some of the most important things to be disciplined on are the things that we don't see results from right away discipline is my favorite quality for others to have for me to have as well as overall just admire when other people have it because it is so beautiful to be doing things for a future you because it is so hard when you aren't seeing results because you don't have consistent motivation. You have days when you're down and you just keep picking yourself back up. Number one form of self-love and self-care, if you ask me, is to discipline yourself. It's not gonna hurt you. It's only going to improve your life. I have no idea what type of workout outfit I wanna wear today. I wanna be comfortable. We're hitting chest and tries and shoulders. I love monochrome outfits, so I'm gonna wear these Aritzia sweats and this Lululemon set. I always match my undergarments to what color I'm wearing too, always. My little brother's about to make me cry. I have a 15 year old brother that acts like he hates me, but that's just like what 15 year olds do. I would know, been there. And he just sent me a TikTok and I think it's gonna make me cry. <laughs> ah! 
Y'all, teenage siblings are ruthless nowadays. I do not remember being as ruthless as my little brother. We were sitting at the dinner table one time after I had visited, maybe my second trip visiting back in like November, December. All of my brothers are home for the holidays, so it's really the full effect at the dining table. And my little brother has the audacity to tell me to my face in front of everyone at the dining table that it would be better if one of our brothers visited as much as I did because they're more fun. And I literally cried at the dining table. Wow, do these teenagers really know how to hit a freaking nerve? Situations like that always make you feel even better when then your little brother sends you something like that saying that they love you. The amount of guilt that I feel from living in a big city pursuing my dreams while also having a brother that's still in high school and trying to like get started figuring life out, especially high school. On top of that, having like my Mimi and my Papa and a bunch of other family members and then being so aware that time is so valuable and God's plan for everyone is different in life can make it really hard sometimes. Sometimes. Being 21 and living on your own in a bigger city and living in a complete different state That's something I struggle with a lot, which is also a huge reason as to why I'm moving back to Texas I ordered a new camera yesterday that I've actually talked about quite a bit on this channel. It's a Sunny ZV-E10 I have wanted this camera for years I'm so tempted to go get it right now But let's hit a workout so that it can be like rewarding after a workout rather than getting my camera and then getting sidetracked Which I know I will because I know myself. I've been rocking a bun to the gym It's just very low maintenance and I don't have much more getting ready to do just my hair and putting on shoes and we can be out the door. Definitely redoing my self tan today because my armpits look horrid. I also taught myself all day how to do a bunch of new editing things. When I said new chapter, I meant new chapter. <laughs> sad that my battery charger hasn't came in yet because I literally cannot use my camera until the batteries are charged. But everything happens for a reason. I tell myself that for everything because control what you can control. I can control my response to situations, but I can't always control the situation. This is not that serious. Like I can keep going and have a different camera that we can film on, but even for more serious things too. Control what you can control. What you can't control, put up with. Otherwise, when something little goes bad or something doesn't go as planned, it'll completely throw you off course. You can't let little things that you can't control consume you. You have to find a way to work around it. I am obsessed with these protein shakes by Kawea. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. I'm not sponsored by them, but they did send me my first package of them for my first time trying them just so that I could try them. And I actually ended up loving them. So I've been spending my own money instead of reaching out to them because I'll support. These are good, really good. Mm. They're so good. My bedding will be done drying in 20 minutes. So we have 20 minutes. And I do it this way because multitasking is the easiest way to maximize my productivity throughout the day. It's just what I've learned through my experience. So by the time my bedding's done, my room needs to be clean and vacuumed. You got a flight, nigga, can't even see me on way out of here. You find this guy. Heard me, it's ash ready to turn my ash. Bitch, so pretty, little better than cancer. Puffing on zoos and she calling me daddy. Walking on shit, turn it up and I guess. Came out the gutter, they ain't never me this way. Secure the bag out of bitch, I'm a bag. I've been working on this video the last two days. I really hope y'all like it so far. The best thing to do, in my opinion, to obtain discipline or to get started with discipline is to cling on to that little bit of motivation that you randomly get one day. I like to set goals for myself while I'm doing things. For example, my bedding had 20 minutes left, which means I had 20 minutes to clean my room. I make it a little challenge for myself. It makes it fun in a way, rather than feeling like this is something that I have to do, it's something that you get to do. I'm pretty sure ever since right before I went to Texas for my first visit, I moved my mirror right in front of my bed. That was not a good move. You just hear all these things about why you shouldn't put your mirror in front of your bed, about like spirits and demons and all this other stuff. But also too, because my mirror was right in front of my bed and I was in bed so often whenever I was editing or eating or watching something because I was off track, so I wasn't spending as much time on my feet as I had been before. I I visited Texas, I also became very self-critical of myself because I was constantly looking at myself. I was constantly finding things to not like about myself. Also, I just created that little bookshelf not too long ago, like maybe three months ago. It's just something for now. I want to have like an actual bookshelf in my new place and like it's going to be awesome. But right now that's what I have. The fact that that wasn't in my room and that it was outside of my room, I was reading less because I'm in my room more often. One, because I don't have as many designated spaces in my apartment as I should have created before. 
so I wasn't reading as often and I wasn't getting things done in the same way because my environment was different. Your environment matters where you put things matter, even if it doesn't feel like it will in the moment. Um, so I literally like basically reverted back to how my room was whenever I was like doing 75 hard and all that. Already a huge difference. Like literally as of this day and moving forward, already a huge difference in my productivity and what I'm saying to myself. I'm already way less critical. It's the little things. sponsoring today's YouTube video. Because of the checker print, everyone thinks that this is bedding, but this is how the mattress is made. My previous mattress before this, I had for like 13 years, maybe more than that, so it was really broken down. I gave Sweet Night a try and I've never been happier with a mattress. I sleep like a rock. I am a very hard sleeper, so I was used to waking up with discomfort, but ever since I've had this mattress, I have not felt that at all. Unlike most mattresses, it has four different firmness options, just depending on where you lay on the mattress. On top of that, the price range is $800, to $1,300, which is a great price range. This is the perfect mattress for anyone who wants to try memory foam, but don't want to choose the wrong one. Also for anyone who's just looking to update their mattress, and especially for people who are active, sometimes you have body discomfort and you need to change the firmness, this mattress allows that. How and the amount of sleep that you're getting every night matters. So make sure that you use my code right here, it's Reagan 15 for 15% off your mattress. And thank you again, sweet night. All the information will be in the description box, and let's get back to the video. I'm finished with cleaning. I've decided that tomorrow I'm gonna do my duvet. I'll wash it tonight, but I'm gonna let it sit in there so it's damp whenever I put it in the dryer so that it doesn't take as long. First thing I got from Amazon is this soft light. It's basically a fancier version of what I have now. Like, <laughs> I'm so glad I invested in these things. Look how big this light is, gigantic. <gasps> Come on, you can change the tone as well. And I can, I'm pretty sure I can put this on my camera. It's a big light though. Here's a little tripod for it. I might have to wait for an attachment to come in for me to be able to like use this in the way that I want to because I literally want to like put it on my camera. I can't do it on this current camera, but I should be able to do it on my new camera. Okay, well, that's awesome. Comes with a little mini tripod. We are going to test out my camera if the batteries work. Hopefully I don't have to let them charge. I got a few other things too. I got this card reader that I can hook up to my phone through my camera so that I can get files from my camera onto my phone if I want to do that. I don't really film a lot on my camera. I just use my phone for the most part for TikTok videos and stuff. But if I want to make like a cool little video to promote on TikTok or Instagram or whatever, that's probably whenever I'll be using this. Then these are my filters. This is basically going to filter out some of the light whenever I have high exposure in certain clips. You also can just use it all the time. I'm probably going to be using it all the time. 
time. I don't know, it really depends. I need to play around with some of this stuff, especially because this is my first time using these things, but we have some microfiber cloths and here's the first filter. I got two of them. So I got one for the new lens that I got and then the other ones for the lens that it comes with. This one's for the lens that it comes with, I'm pretty sure. This is what I was really waiting for. These are the batteries and the charger. It didn't come with the charger. Good thing I kind of have been through the process of buying a camera a few times and realized that it might not come with one. So I got this one that's gonna charge three batteries at one time. I'll probably end up ordering another one of those in the future just because I like to have my batteries charged and ready to go. I don't like to charge them while I'm filming. And then the last thing that I got is this cocktail kit. <laughs> It's my last two months in LA. I'm gonna have fun and I'm gonna get started on some of the things I wanna do, like learn how to make cool cocktails for me and my guests. I'm not even gonna open this right now. I'm gonna wait until I wanna make a cocktail because I don't wanna have to wash all that stuff and all of that tonight. Okay, let's try one of these batteries and see if they at least are like a little bit charged. Let's see, moment of truth. Let's see, <gasps> yes, it worked. <laughs> OMG. Let's do a difference. Here is what the footage looks like on my Canon G7X Mark III. I'm in love. I'm in love. This looks awesome. Like, okay, wide angle lens. It's giving 0.5 of an iPhone, but on a camera. One of the biggest habits that I'm going to change moving into my new apartment is eating in bed. The bad habit gets worse because I don't have like another area to eat in my apartment. I have a couch, but I don't have like a coffee table. And then I don't have a dining table nor an island or nothing. Like I did not pour love into this apartment in the ways that I wish that I would have. I've learned a lesson moving forward my next place. I will be pouring lots of love into that apartment and decorating it and furnishing it and making sure that it's a home I'm missing out on some key parts of this place being a home right now I will say right now that I'm not actually romanticizing it I am very well aware that that's not something that I want to continue doing anyways side note Yeah, i'm aware of that. It will be changed. We can go back into the video So funny because I was so excited to get this camera and this lens and I still am I love it But I don't really know how to work the camera. I still don't I filmed the remainder of this video in slow-mo on accident and I had no idea until I started editing this video yesterday I went through the clips and I'm like damn this clips 50 minutes long So I click on it and the whole thing's me showering in slow-mo So from this point forward we are going to go into montage style which has kind of been taking over this video But I feel like me editing's kind of bringing it back center because I talked a lot throughout a lot of these clips But I have now lost that footage because it's all in slow-mo so you can't even hear me We're switching up the editing style because of that fucking Wait, can y'all tell a difference by how this looks now? Also, I got a lash lift, which I talked about in one of the clips, but it was slow-mo. Anyways, <laughs> I couldn't figure out. I was like, damn, this footage for whatever reason, as I'm filming, it looks like I have the beauty effect on from freaking TikTok. I did. It has a fucking beauty effect on this camera. And I just, I've been trying to figure out how to get it off for so long. <laughs> and I just figured it out literally right now. Now on to the video.
word to me was just a little taste Just a little taste. You know what's funny about me getting a new camera? It's me not realizing that I literally recorded a whole entire hour conversation that I had with y'all in slow-mo, as well as so many other clips. Basically, for one, I'm so excited for the fact that I really like got my shit together yesterday and didn't stop, didn't half-ass anything. Like I fully cleaned. I have not fully cleaned in a really long time. Also, the switching my mirror and my little bookshelf and and then making it like a mini desk. I was like literally sitting on a suitcase because I don't have a chair and I know that I'm gonna have a more professional setup in an actual desk in my new place because I'm planning on getting a two bed, two bath and making my second bedroom a content room where I'll have my podcast set up, a vanity set up for getting ready videos. I have a place for my piano to go. I might even do like a backdrop and stuff. Like really wanna make like a content room. On top of that, having a dining table in my new place because I eat literally everything in my bed. Like I spilt my miso soup all in my bed last night and that was just my last straw. I usually don't spill things in my bed. It was just my last straw because I don't feel awesome eating in my bed. And why did I not make this place a home? I couldn't tell you, but we have learned a lesson and that's that I will be making my next place a home, like somewhere that I have divided spaces for each activity, like eating will be in my kitchen, in my dining room, at the dining table, editing in my podcast and certain content things will be in a separate room than my bedroom. I don't even think I'm gonna have a TV in my bedroom. I think I'm gonna do that in my living room and then keep my bedroom like very standard that's not for certain yet because i do like watching tv but it's not good to do before you go to bed you're supposed to limit your screen time like two hours before bed obviously i'm in a little bit different circumstances because i'm working online but that doesn't give me an excuse in terms of watching the tv i literally go to bed with my tv on i just have not poured love into any of the places that i've lived in because i've learned so much since i first started living on my own i went from living on my own with roommates to living with 10 roommates to living on my own and hating it and then living on my own and loving it and now I know the basis of things. It's just trial and error and it's a process. I'm only 21 years old and I know a lot of people think that I'm a lot older. Most people that I meet think I'm a lot older and I'm not. So I try to show myself some grace while also knowing that I learned a lesson and I've gained knowledge throughout experiences and overall life. There's always something to learn. I've learned that it makes sense for me to make a place somewhere that I can fully live in to the fullest extent. I feel like I've just unlocked a whole different level of my content just from this lens, like how it's wide. I love it. I'm going to be having a ball with this. Like I already planned out my next vlog. I did get an eyelash lift. It's not super, super dramatic. It's a subtle difference, but it is a big difference for me, especially because my lashes are blonde. So being able to like actually see them because my natural hair color is blonde is like, Anyways, that was one of the main topics that I talked about yesterday. I went more in depth with it. Like my next place, I wanna have wall art and a bar area for creating cute cocktails for me and my guests. And I wanna host events for my family and friends and literally have like dress code for the events and themes and make it super professional. I am going to pour so much love into my next place and it's gonna be even easier because I'm gonna be around my family. I've talked about this so many times now that I'm thinking about it on my channel. So I guess it's not the worst thing to like miss out on. I'm just really excited for this new chapter, which has officially started as of yesterday. That's why getting all of those things done to the full extent was important. I am washing my duvet like right now as we speak while drying it. I washed it last night. I do this thing with my duvet because it takes so long to dry that I will wash it at night and then let it sit in the washing machine for like all night until the morning and then move it into the dryer, dry it once, and then I leave it out on my floor after it's been cleaned and mopped and all that for like two, three hours and then put it back in the dryer. That way I can get laundry done in between. So I'm doing all of my laundry today as well. Even though it doesn't probably look like I got that that much done yesterday, that is literally the first step is cleaning your environment, like fully cleaning it. I'm even spring cleaning this weekend. So y'all will see that. I'm gonna vlog my weekend starting tomorrow. I have like today to get as many things edited and submitted brand deal wise um, so that I can take the time to film this vlog for my weekend as well. 
I want to be posting on YouTube three times a week. Like, that's my goal. I'm going to start with two videos a week and move up to the three. Uh, it may not go perfectly. I'm just telling y'all these plans. This isn't me saying that, like, I'm going to get it perfect every single time. I clearly have not been doing that, but I am going to give it my best shot, especially now that I'm in a better mental state and I've taken some time away from myself. Oh my gosh, one of the things I talked about last night. I have been chronically online the last six months. Like, ever since I finished 75 Hard and then quit Nick and went into the holidays where I was in Texas for like a month and a half back and forth for like six months. When I visited Texas, it literally drove me to a really bad mental spot that I have not been in in a really long time since like 2021. Like I was not feeling me. I felt like a zombie that was just like going through the motions every day and not actually living life. I was not spending any time alone. It wasn't me going to Texas though. And I can at least say that it was me going to Texas and not having my own place. Like going from living every single single day for the last three years on my own and having so much alone time to not having any alone time at all for even just a month and a half but do that times the last six months has been insane one of the other things as well was as i was in that six months i was so chronically online like i would read all of my comment sections like in an unhealthy way i would like obsess over everything i would take everything to heart good and bad i was scrolling so much aimlessly like through all social media youtube instagram tiktok i was watching a lot of news which i I've actually had to like get myself to stop doing because I was watching bad news and not good news. There are things that are put online to literally scare you and to make you like this anxious mess. And I was feeding into it knowing that that was not something that was healthy for me. And what did it do? Affected me negatively, which I knew it was going to. So I've also taken a step behind um, watching like news and graphic videos and violence because it started giving me sleep issues it was hard for me to go to sleep i was constantly anxious constantly scared constantly paranoid which is not how you should live your life i haven't felt as close to god the last six months like there is just so many things that were off and i couldn't figure out what was wrong so for the first time the only thing that i have not done throughout this six month process of trying to regain mental strength and clarity and love in myself and discipline honestly because i have not been as disciplined as i was even on my best days it was like the performance of my worst days a few months ago so i've had this really silent struggle that i've been going through with all of these things mentally and another thing is i wasn't pushing myself in my workouts i wasn't pushing myself in life like i wasn't pushing myself with eating i ended up losing a couple of pounds towards the end of these last few months after spending so much time gaining and like really putting forth my full effort in changing all these things. It's like I took a million steps back and I finally have caught right back up to myself. <sighs> And now I know to not let it happen again. Alone time is important. I was just missing a lot of the solitude that I get whenever I am alone because I honestly, I can say from the bottom of my heart, am genuinely happy in my own company. I genuinely love being in my own company and hanging out with myself. Like it is not something that I am scared of like I used to be in the past, like throughout the last few years, especially living in LA and living on my own. I have hit the point where I love it and I appreciate it and I am thankful for it. I was spending too much time time not in my own company and going out and all of these other things that aren't bad i just need to have a balance of it so that's been what the focus is the only thing that i didn't do was let myself rest and rest for me i'd be like okay i'll lay in bed after doing xyz like no the last three days i literally bed rot for three days barely got on my phone was not scrolling through social media planning out like what i wanted to clean some little steps i can take getting back into reading all of these little things that that made me me before everything felt different in a negative way and that was all I fucking needed sometimes you just need to give yourself rest and actual rest and rest does not feel productive to me but I have to remind myself it is it's important you can't perform to your best extent if you don't allow yourself to also do the opposite sometimes you can't always be at a hundred you'll burn out my clips finally just got um, uploaded to my hard drive so I can begin editing this video thank y'all so much for watching this video I'm sorry that the audio is weird. Granted, I just got this camera. I obviously do not know fully how to use it yet and I have a lot of learning to do, but that's the best part about creating content or just trying anything new is you get to learn a lot through everything, through multiple different things. So it'll be a fun little thing for me to do on the side um, and hopefully y'all will be able to tell as well. Yeah, I love y'all. Thank y'all for watching this video. Every time I film a YouTube video, I'm reminded by how much I love doing YouTube. It's just the beginning.